Well, hello there and welcome, folks, to another episode of 162 Times, your daily baseball recap and preview show. I'm your host, Daniel Turner. Uh, it's great to be with you, bringing you some Mariners action from last night, previewing today's Mariners game. It's what we do. We'll also talk about the scores from around the majors on Tuesday, uh, a busy Tuesday in the majors. So let's get right into it. Uh, Seattle came off a really good 5-1 win over Tampa Bay, and uh, they were facing those same Rays again. Uh, it was um, a good game. Unfortunately, the Mariners ended up dropping the game. Uh, it was a 3-2 final for Tampa. Tampa moves to 66 and 66, fourth in their division, the American League East. The Mariners move to 67 and 66, second in the AL West. Um, it was a reliever fest in the scoreboard, so it was Useda for the Rays, 2 0 now, 0.84 ERA. Woo, that's good. JT Chargeois, or Chagua, as they say in America, is now 2 1 with a 2.39 ERA. He took the loss. He gave up a two run homer to Jose Siri, um, which is why he got the loss. Rodriguez got the save for the Rays, 2.28 ERA. Logan Gilbert started the game for the Mariners. He was exceptional. Uh, threw 97 pitches, 6 innings, 4 hits, no runs, no walks, 10 strikeouts, 3.09 ERA on the season. Um, he's like 3-5 and five at home this year with a 2-point-something ERA, a ton of strikeouts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He's now gotten 19 runs in support in all those home games this year. It's absolutely absurd. Starting pitcher for the Rays was Jeffrey Springs. Five innings, one hit, no runs, two walks, nine Ks. Mariners struck out 17 times last night, guys. They managed five hits, 17 strikeouts. It's just not good enough to win, and you have to be consistent to win the majors. Chargeois gave up the two hits, the two runs, the one K, and the homer. Snyder, Colin, Gave up two hits, one run, one earned run, two strikeouts for him, and a homer given up. And Taylor, the new guy, he pitched a, a clean ninth inning with 1K. Uh, for the Rays, the winning pitcher was Yuseda. He did the sixth, one inning, one hit, one run. It was not earned. One walk, three Ks. Poche then did an inning with two Ks. Clevenger did two-thirds of an inning with two hits, one run. One of them was earned, one walk, and a strikeout. Then Kelly did a third of an inning. He struck out a guy. And Rodriguez had one hit and one strikeout in his inning of work. Scoring? Well, it was quiet all game until the bottom of the sixth where Victor Robles stole third base and then the throwdown got away from the third baseman so he came in to score. That was on an error. That was, that's why it was an unearned run against Yuseda. But top of seven, uh, with a man on, Johnny DeLuca was on base and Jose Siri who's batting under 200, managed to smack his 17th homer of the year to straightaway center field. 2-1 Tampa at that point. Then top of eight, Yandy Diaz homered off Snyder, made it a 3-1 game. That was unfortunate because in the bottom of the eighth, uh, Cal Raleigh, clutch Cal, brought in Leo Rivas with a single. Um, and the Mariners were threatening, but they weren't able to cash in that run, so they ended up losing 3-2. Tough break for the M's. Now, on the out-of-town scoreboard, the good news is is that the Phillies beat the uh, the Phillies beat the Astros five nothing for the second straight victory over the Astros. So no ground was made up um, in that game. Elsewhere, the Tigers beat the Angels six to two to have the same record as the Mariners, thus tied in the wild card race with the Mariners. The Royals beat the Guardians six to one, so that division is now tied at the top. They're both seventy five and fifty eight. The A's beat the Red Sox. Uh, the Reds, pardon me, four five four. Who cares? Cubbies over the Pirates, 9-5. Who cares? Nats over the Yankees, 4-2. Yankees now have the same record as the Royals and the Guardians as well. Blue Jays lost to the Red Sox, 6-3. That's interesting. So the Red Sox still ahead of the Mariners in the wild card. Twins lost to the Braves in 10, 8-6. Pods over the Cardinals, 7-5. Rangers over the White Sox, 3-1. Giants over the Brewers, 5-4. Marlins over the Rockies, 9-8. Mets over the D-backs, 8-3, and the Orioles beat the Dodgers, 3-2. That's a good game right there. So, that's that. Now previewing Wednesday's matchup, today's matchup. So, 
the Mariners are going to go for uh, the series victory. The series tied 1-1. They need a win in Game 3 against the Rays to seal the series victory. It'll be Luis Castillo taking on Tyler Alexander. Alexander is 5-4 and four this year with 18 games pitched in and 7 starts. Uh, he's got a 1.3 whip. Castillo, on the other hand, is... Uh, he is 10 and 12 with a 3.6 ERA. Lineups are as follows. It'll be Crawford, JP Crawford back in the lineup for the Mariners. He'll be leading off playing short. Julio will be in center, batting second. Rally will DH, bat third. Rosarena will clean up and play left. Polanco will be at second. Rayleigh at first. Moore at third. Mitch Garver will catch like with for Castillo and not George Kirby, which is a little unusual. And Victor Robles will uh, bat ninth and play right field. For the Rays, it'll be Yandy Diaz at first, Low, Lau, pardon me, Brandon Lau at second, Caminero at third, Morrell DHing, Low in right, Carlson in left, Caballero at short, Rotvert behind the plate, and Siri in center field. Should be a good one. Tune in, folks.